Take 17. <laughs> Take 28. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, great to have you here, Matt. Matt is from thebespokebar.com. Also works at Jerry's. Uh, is it Jerry's of Soho or Jerry's? Jerry's Wines and Spirits. Where is it? Absolutely. The infamous one. Old Compton Street. Street. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Gurus. Yeah, yeah. Right, what drink are you going to make for us today, Matt? Today we're going to do a bit of a twist on Pims because uh, it's the uh, middle of summer and when it comes to summer, Pims is number one. Pun there, really. No, I've got it, don't worry. It wasn't wasted on me. I so, woke up early this morning. <laughs> yeah. Effectively, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own Pims using your gin, some red vermouth, and some curacao. It will get close enough for jazz. Um, it's not going to be, you know, absolutely bang on, but it's a really good way of doing it. Absolutely, a little fresh ingredients. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to usually when they do pims, what they end up doing is kind of frying a strawberry and frying a raspberry, a bit of meat, a bit of lemon, and it's all in there, it looks lovely and everything. But the trouble is with that that it's not really putting any flavour into it. It's just aesthetic. So I'm going to muddle all the fruits into it, really create a great base, and then we're just going to. Now, what I was going to say is the configurations for all of the, for, for everything you're going to make in this video yeah. will be on our website. It will indeed on bakerygin.com. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Right, shall I uh, go for it. on with this? Excellent. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to put some raspberries in there and just give them a quick muddle. Now, because berries, as I've mentioned, I think in one of the other videos recently, are a bit hit and miss sometimes in this season. Although strawberries are technically in season because it's summer, sometimes they're not as amazing as the ones you handpick in the field yourself. So I'm going to kind of boost the flavour up here with the puree that I've made, just from a bag of frozen berries, which are kind of frozen in their peak. I've sweetened without sugar, just with kind of, well, not without sugar, with agave nectar and with some honey to add a bit of flavour, and then just kind of added a little bit of lemon juice or lime just to round it off. So I'm going to add literally about 10 mils of puree, a bit of strawberry and a bit of raspberry and that'll really give it a nice big thick base you know I love puree so we've got raspberries in there we've got purees in there we're ready to go next in goes a lemon wedge after that goes mr orange after that goes a little cucumber slice we made all this up now i have to ask you that glass that's on there is that is that one of those really expensive ones that really nasty bad things happen to you if you break you want to get me in trouble yeah <laughs> is it one of those no it's not it's oh, just showing mine uh, while we're touching on glassware, that's from a glassware company called John Jenkins, who I really love. They do great ranges of glassware, and they provide a lot of the five-star hotels with their bespoke glassware rates. So definitely worth having a look on their website. Okay. Some great stuff. But if you use a supermarket glass, would that be okay? Absolutely, use a plastic cup if you want. I mean, there are no rules, you know. I think it's presentation. It's presentation. I think it's worth getting some nice glassware and just having a, having a look online, and you'll find some pretty cool stuff. Um, okay. well, we're trying to make some gin cocktails, and I think in your words, rather than just make some classic gin cocktails, we're trying to step it up and raise the game. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the videos that you kind of see on YouTube and you, and you see from some of the guys that work for some of the brands, which are, which are cool, and that, you know, everything has its place, it's important. Mm -hmm. But I think sometimes they, it kind of gets a bit lost, and it's just like, oh my god, like Negroni or a oh, Gimla or a Martini. And I love those drinks, and they're ace, and they have a sure. place. But you know, sometimes it's good to just think a bit outside the box okay. than just, you know, kind of rest, you know, rest your laurels on the classics, okay. you know, kind of just think outside Now, what did you box. just put in there? Okay, so we've just put some mint in there. So to reiterate, we've got an orange slice, lemon wedge, we've got some mint, we've got a bit of raspberry puree, strawberry puree, and a couple of fresh raspberries bunched in there. Now what we're going to do is form our own pims. Very easy. 25 mils of red vermouth. Um, where is my curacao? This is orange curacao, which is like a super sweet orange liqueur, which is very good, used in Mai Tais and, and, and lots of other delicious drinks because it is a delicious tipple. 25 mils of that in. So one part, one part, you know. And I can it? smell it, it smells delicious. Yeah, it, it, does, it, does, yeah, it does sort of permeate the air a bit. And then 25 mils of gin. Maybe a little splash more, right? <laughs> okay, then we're going to add ginger juice. Now, I know you were asking me about this earlier, weren't you? Yep. Ginger juice. Um, so, ginger is really aggressive. It's an amazing root. Yes. Yeah, so how do we how do we Very stop the ginger from killing the drink? Well, as a rule of thumb, from about a kilo of ginger, if you if you put that through a juicer, you're going to get about eight hundred mils. Um, to 800 mils, you add 300 mils of caster sugar. 
and then you just mix it until the sugar has dissolved properly and you've got this beautiful syrup which is not overbearing because it's not one to one it just you get the fiery boost of the ginger and you don't have any of the you know the the problems of yeah and, and no, that, that kind of like over syrupy like yeah, yeah. you know it's it, this is a good uh, well I'm not going to lie to you Matt I'll be the judge of that when you I will be it. the judge of that <laughs> I'll shut up and crack on with the drinks <laughs> <laughs> right okie dokie um, so next up is some lemon juice I'm not going to put too much in probably about 10 mils because there's a lot of sweetness going on in there can you squeeze um, that yourself the lemon juice yeah yeah absolutely yeah of course yeah um, usually I'll have a sort of uh, room full of minions who do it for me but every now and then I'll roll my sleeves up and get uh, involved I, 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 listen I can't, I can't lie Matt is a very powerful man <laughs> he's a very powerful man powerful man he knows how to squeeze a lemon ok <laughs> so that's alright that's all going on in there that's lovely we're going to top it up with ginger ale we don't need to add any sugar at all because there's enough going on in there ginger's in there all the flavours are happening so now we're just going to shake it up Butterfly. A butterfly, yeah, I've been on about that, haven't I? The old butterfly. I think you might have mentioned it about <laughs> 473 times. times. The old butterfly. Who knows about it? So, I don't know if you can see that here. Yeah. I can't wait to see you do the caterpillar. Color, right? The caterpillar, yeah. yeah it's looking good. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Then we're going to get some ice, pop it in there. I'm just going to pop this behind it, do the ice, because otherwise. Hey, What's that? Cameraman keeps complaining that I keep bumping the drinks behind the thing like sort of crappy Paul Daniels sort of thing. And yeah, you're going to do it now, are you? Put it where they can see it, mate. Um, give or take, we get the general idea of that. Now, very simple this. Pros only. Top up with ginger ale. Matt lied, so I need to check it. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think you lied. I don't blame you. Just put a little strawberry with a bit of um, mint threaded through there. Cheeky bit of cucumber, lovely. And maybe poke it up with a little raspberry. That is a Rum's Rangoon. Fantastic. Bang Fantastic. Can, Can I go for it? it? Of course, you've got to get into it now. Dad, I, I can't lie, I don't think you'd like it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Magic, cheers yeah. to your health. Cheers, cheers, absolutely. Cheers, thank you. Enjoy, enjoy. 